I am Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com and I'm back for the second day in a row for some fun stamping projects. Yesterday we did the Paper Pumpkin uh, Reveal Live because that happened to come in and that was really exciting. And today we are going to be um, doing a very cool online class. Um, I, I hope you guys love this. I am I'm, I'm, I don't know what my life is going to be like without the Gorgeous Grunge stamp set. It is retiring in a couple of weeks, and I've just been playing with it like mad because I'm very, very sad about it going. So we're going to be using that today, along with Wetlands, another fantastic retiring stamp set that's only going to be available for a couple of weeks. And we're going to make this, this card set. And it's quick, it's easy, and I, I absolutely love it. I also love that you guys are all on board. Welcome, everybody. This is very cool. It's a great way to um, to start the broadcast. Awesome. So um, I got a kick out of, um, while well, you guys were in the wait room during the, um, the schedule right before I came on, I saw a couple of the comments popping up, everybody waiting for it to come live. And Karen says, I'm putting off my grocery shopping <laughs> so I can see what's happening live. I love that. Oh my gosh, I was cracking up. You guys are awesome. So welcome aboard, everybody. I see a whole bunch of you on there. Um, it's going by real quick. I see Joyce and Linda and Cindy and Susan. I feel like I'm on romper room, right? And Sherry. <laughs> it's very cool, you guys. Um, if you are new to my, my um, live broadcasts, I always do um, a giveaway at the end live. And I also have a giveaway for those of you who either can't be live or didn't win the live. So today... For the giveaways, this is the best. The live giveaways, I'm, I've, I've been cleaning out my unclaimed prize drawer, and I had quite a few unclaimed prize. So just so you know, if you win a prize today, you need to fill out the prize claim form on my blog so I know where to send the prize to. If you don't fill it out, I end up putting the prizes back up here and somebody else gets to win it, which is what's happening with these guys. All right, are you guys ready for this? Okay. Not just one, not just two, but I have four, four unclaimed paper pumpkin prizes here. We have the February paper pumpkin, two March paper pumpkins, and one April Acerathing paper pumpkins that I will be giving away live. All you need to do to win one of these is leave a comment here on the live broadcast. If you leave a comment live, you will be entered into the drawing and I will draw at the end. I'm also giving away these awesome um, paper pumpkin totes with the paper pumpkin kit. So if you win one of these kits, I'll also send you one of these totes free along with the prize. So that's a little bonus. <laughs> when he's like, say what? <laughs> I know, can you believe that? Okay, so these are live. If you're, if you're watching us live right now, there's a little red box at the top that says live. Um, and if you're watching it now and you leave a comment, then you will be entered automatically. And I'm gonna draw that. You're gonna actually get to see that happen, which is kind of fun and exciting. Now, if you are watching the replay, either on Facebook or on YouTube, or if you didn't win the live, you enter the same way. Um, for the replay drawing, for the, the after live drawing, I will be giving away a Sarah Thing paper pumpkin kit and a tote bag, and I'll do that drawing on May 31st. So you can watch this and, and, and enter a comment either on YouTube or on Facebook and enter to win the after live drawing up until May 31st. Now, here's the bonus part of the after live drawing. If you share this live broadcast and type shared, S-H-A-R-D, type shared into the comments, I'll enter you a second time. So you'll get to, you'll get to be entered twice because when you share the love, I want to, I want to give it right back to you because you guys are awesome. This is like, I love it. I love being able to, to be on here live. This is a bonus this week, actually getting to do this twice. And I have another video coming up on Saturday with our um, Stamp It Demonstrator group blog hop. And I have to tell you one more thing that's happening um, this weekend with my Stamp It Demonstrator group. I'm so excited about this. For the first time ever, we are having a dual um, Facebook Live broadcast for my demonstrator group, myself and Mary Fish will be our guest presenter. Number one demonstrator of the year in Stampin' Up! Mary Fish is gonna be speaking live on Facebook with my demonstrator group, just like we're speaking right now, this weekend, cannot wait, cannot wait. And she's already, you know, interacting with them and, and, and answering questions and getting things prepared for that. So we're very excited to, to do this. It's the first time we've ever done something like this, and it's very fun. If you're interested in learning more about joining, even if you just want to do it for the discount to get the new products or get the retiring products, um, there's a link on my blog, and you can contact me for more information. One more note. 
retiring products. Going to be using a couple of them today. They're only available till the end of the month. Just saying. There's less than two weeks left. Less. And, and it's even worse than that. Not only are they going away on May 31st, they could be going away before May 31st. Um, actually, the, um, the retiring accessories, as you know, a lot of them have already sold out. But there's still some good deals left on the sale in my online store. The stamp sets they've promised to make until May 22nd. We make our own stamp sets. So we can continue to make those until May 22nd. At that point, they're going to be stopping production on the stamp sets so they can start making the new sets for the new catalog that's coming out June 1st. So at that point, the stamp sets in the catalog that are retiring will become while supplies last and they could sell out before May 31st. So the gorgeous grunge and the wetlands that I'm showing you today may not actually be available until May 31st. It may, they may, but they may not. So if you want them, get them now. Don't wait until the last minute is what I'm saying. Don't wait. All right, you guys, thank you all for sharing this broadcast. My gosh, you guys are so amazing. I love it. Um, I am going to get started right now. Um, let's see if we can get that on there. We are going to, um, yeah, it looks like the feed got lost. Let me see if I can get that back. Okay, I got it back up. Um, did it? Yeah, we're back up. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm also looking at the feed on my phone and I'm like, oh my gosh, all of a sudden it stopped. If it stopped for you, just press, just press play. It seemed to come back for me when that happened. Uh, sometimes the live stuff, you never know what's going to happen. That's what makes it fun, right? Like somebody said to me, I love how you have your lives all down pat. And I'm like, I love that it looks that way <laughs> because here it's all kinds of craziness and it's always something goes wrong. And I think that's what makes it more fun. <laughs> Yeah, you just got to roll with it, right? All right, so let's jump down to the table um, and let's do some stamping. So, um, whoops, there we go. So down here, I'll move our prizes. If you're just jumping on now, if you're a little bit late for the broadcast, um, this is um, the giveaways from the live broadcast right here. If you leave a comment, you will be entered into the drawing. And if you share and typed shared, in the in the comments on Facebook and, and share it on Facebook if um, you will be entered a second time into my afterlife drawing okay so four paper pumpkins were unclaimed can you believe that I'm just crazy and I'm also giving away these cool little tote reusable tote bags with each giveaway today live at the end of the broadcast all right who's ready for stamping I am I am pick me so we're gonna come right in here I've got a rainbow of ink pads for these for this set. These are all bold, bright colors. And I'll note, there's a free PDF. I meant to print it off to show to you guys. There's a free PDF on my blog. Um, I know you guys, are, most of you are familiar with this, but sometimes, you know, with new people, um, they don't realize it's there. Everything that I'm doing today is available in my online store, and there's a free downloadable PDF. It will have all of the supplies that I'm using and the, and the measurements on there so that you can use that to take notes, come back, and later, if you're watching this later. Um, so anyways, I'm using shimmer white cardstock today on these. You can also use white, whisper white, and that looks great too. I'm just gonna try to get this in the light so you can see, whoops, or throw it around, whatever works. Whatever, right? Did you hear the Bostonian in me come out when I said that? Whatever. <laughs> So let me see, can you guys see the sparkle on there? It's hard, it's really hard to see on the camera, but um, the shimmer white, white really adds a little bit of pizzazz in person. You can really see it sparkle. So what I'm gonna do is start with our stamping for the project. And we're gonna make three cards. Now, normally when I make these three cards, what I would do is I would, I would do all my cutting at once. Again, measurements are on my blog. I do all the cutting at once. Then I do all the stamping at once, like, and all the big shop work at once. Um, I pre-cut it for us. I've got um, half of an eight and half by 11 here for the basic black. We're just gonna fold that in half for our cardstock base. There we go. And <laughs> Sherry says, I'm sharing it private because I'm at work and I'm not supposed to be posting. <laughs> You're so funny. Okay, so I'm just putting a little bit of scrap paper underneath our, our shimmer white cardstock. Let me see if I can hold that up one more time. I can't tell if you guys can see that or not, but just take my word for it. It's sparkly in person. It sparkles. Um, and I plan on stamping off the edge, and that's why I put a little piece of scrap underneath there. So I'm going to open up our... These are all bold brights, with the exception of... I meant to grab Daffodil Delight, and I accidentally 
or have crushed curry. Either one of them will work. But if you want to work with it, you can just use your set of Bold Brights for this. We've got Bermuda Bay, Old Olive, what would have been Daffodil Delight, Pumpkin Pie, and Rich Razzleberry right there. A little rainbow. Taste the rainbow. And then a basic black, which is a staple, of course. So these are the two stamp sets that I'm using right now. I'm going to be using the Splatter from the Gorgeous Grunge. Again, I just can't imagine life without the stamp set. I can't believe it's retiring. I'm really going to have a little moment with this and the, and the Picture Perfect stamp set. And wetlands, and what's great about wetlands, we're just using the words. We're using all three of the different words to make this an all-occasion card set, which you could actually give the card set away as a gift. But it's great because that makes this set great for all occasions. So we've got thank you, thinking of you, and birthday. So it's, it's a great word set as well as a great set. Again, these are retiring. You can purchase them in my online store only until May 31st. So I'm going to do this one with the birthday greetings. Now, if I, if I was stamping all three, I would stamp boom, 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 all three together. I am going to make all three, but I pre-stamped some of them for you. <laughs> Just to save us a little bit of time. So next up, we're going to take the splatter from the Gorgeous Grunge. And it's not really, it doesn't really matter which side that you start with. I'm starting with Bermuda Bay, and I'm going to work this way in our rainbow. I'm just going to stamp that at the top. Now, one really important piece of this that I forgot to put in the um, supply list, but hopefully most of you have this on hand. This is the Stampin' Scrub and the Stampin' Mist. So I'm just going to spray a little bit of mist on one side of that scrub because we are going to need to wash the stamp in between each color. Little on the wet side, little on the dry side. Boom. We're good to go. So we're good to stick it in Old Olive. And I'm overlapping these colors just a little bit. Oops, <laughs> I forgot what side I, I washed there already. My, <laughs> this happens when your stampy scrub needs to be scrubbed. It needs to be cleaned itself. These little pads pop out. Mine's really old, but the new ones have worked the same way. These pads pop out and you can rinse them under the sink. I haven't done that in a while. So mine's a dirty stamping scrub. It still works, just not as good. <laughs> So you may want to clean your stampy scrub every once in a while. And then just going to keep going right across here, ending in the rich razzleberry. Ashley says she loves this color combination. Yeah, me too. It's so bright and fun. Okay, so now we have our stamping. And as I mentioned, just to save a little time and through the magic of Facebook Live, I've pre-stamped our other two for us exactly the same way. So we have our whole set here. Thank you, birthday, thinking of you. So next we're going to do some big shot work. Yes, you know what Beth, Beth just mentioned? She's put her um, stamp and scrub pieces in the, um, the scrubby parts in the top shelf of the dish, tap rack of the dishwasher. And yes, that actually is what I normally do <laughs> because I'm lazy. Um, I don't know if it's recommended to do that or not, but I do do it and I haven't had any issues in doing that with them. Okay, so next up, we're going to grab our Big Shot and do some Big Shot work. I've got here, I'm just going to back you up a hair. There you go, so you can see a little bit better. So we've got the Big Shot and it comes with the Big Shot platform here and it comes with a thin die adapter. It also comes with two cutting pads. I'm using the Precision Base Plate today for this project because some of these dies are a little bit involved, they're dragonfly wings, and I really do prefer to cut anything really intricate with this um, Precision Base Plate. So next we're going to take a scrap of basic black cardstock. I've got a fairly big one here because... You can cut all of these, or almost all of these pieces at once. So our dragonflies today are from the detailed dragonfly um, die set. And we're going to use the string of four dragonflies. We're going to use the little dragonfly, and we're going to use the big dragonfly. And we're going to cut them all at once. Now, when I say you can cut almost everything at once, the reason why I say that is because this little string of four dragonflies you actually need to cut twice. So you'll need to send that one through a second time. We're going to put one cutting pad on top and crank it through. And yes, um, 
Catherine's asking the dragonfly um, dies in the new catalog. Yes, they are. They are in there. Um, Carla's asking, do you prefer precision base plate or magnetic base plate? I prefer them both for different things. For the detailed die like this, I would prefer to use the precision base plate. But if I was lining something up over something, I would prefer the magnetic. So they both have a little bit of a different function. Now I'm going to leave the dragonflies right in the cardstock now. Again, you need to cut two of those. You need to cut two of these through the magic of Facebook Live. Ah, I love that. Voila! I have one pre-cut for us, so we only have to run that through once. Okay, so I've got the little dye brush here. And before you all freak out and go, oh my gosh, that retired and we can't even get it anymore. There will be one in the new catalog. You can get this one on June 1st when the new catalog comes out. So I'm just scrubbing a little bit here. Scrub, scrub, scrub. And that helps get all the little pieces out. It's just quick and easy. And these guys literally just melt right out. Look at how quick and easy that was, right? And we'll just put that one here. Yep, that's the one I need. Okay. So, yes, Rod is asking, gorgeous gr grunge is, is, yes, it is. Gorgeous grunge is retiring. It is. I'm having a moment with it. This is like a little ode to the gorgeous grunge stamp set right now. This little uh, presentation. <laughs> You notice I'm doing that because I, I, all of the sets that I love so much, I just, I, I don't want anybody to be disappointed when they don't real, you know, they come in late and realize that something, didn't realize something was retiring and all the beautiful things that you can do with it. I have so, so many. If you go into my stampwithtammy.com blog and type in gorgeous grunge or wetlands, you will get tons and tons of ideas and videos. Just so many ideas for these guys. All right, next up, now that we've got these guys all cut, we've got two little dragonflies here, and we've got a big dragonfly and a little dragonfly. Now we're ready to um, assemble. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's all you really need to the card. Now we're going to assemble. Um, we're going to do, let me just move these guys to the side for a second. We'll attach our, I, I like to attach the front of the card base before I attach something that a couple of the dragonflies, I wanted them to pop up so they don't get smushed when you attach them to the card base. So I'm just going to put this as snail adhesive, which is a double-sided tape on the back of that panel and then attach it to the card base. We'll do that with all three. Tammy says, I love how you put that in the case, and you're talking about the dye brush. And yes, I can't remember where I originally saw this idea, but this is actually a half full uh, wood mount case that I used here. We sell these in the catalog. We sell these cases, um, and it fit perfectly, and it fits all the, it like catches all your scraps for you. Yeah, you can actually purchase that right in my online store. It's a, it's a great little, um, <laughs> it's a great little catcher for all the little pieces there. Now, I also layered a little piece of um, white, just regular white, or, or the shimmer white, whichever you prefer, on the inside to write on. I do this anytime I have a dark cardstock base. So we'll just put that on the inside, and I've already done that on these two. So we have our cards all ready to go, and now we just need to attach our dragonflies. Now, I used snail. Yeah, 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 I know. You could use the, um, I have a silicone mat with me. Oh, I'm sorry. That does usually help. You could use the fine tip glue pen and that probably would be a better choice. Yes. I, I totally, totally support that. <laughs> Except that, I don't know, I'm just lazy and I like snail. Since I usually have a silicone mat underneath me that I usually snail over when I know it's going to go through so it doesn't get everything else sticky, but I can't find it. So I'm just gonna use the scrap paper here. I'm gonna put a little snail on the back of these dragonflies, and yes, the snail will show through, which is why the fine tip glue pen would be a better choice for you if you're friends with the fine tip glue pen. Um, but what I usually do when I do this, and I know I'm gonna have a little bit of show through, is I'll take the paper piercer and just poke out any of that show through there so you don't see it.
And then, all right, I, oh, silly me. I messed up on this one because I really should have put it landscape to fit this dragonfly, but we're gonna make it work anyway. <laughs> I can do that. We're just gonna, we're just gonna play around with these dragonflies and make them fit on this, on this card the way it is. Okay. And so, I don't have my little paper snips around here either. But let's go ahead and piece these guys in down here. And then just trim off the edge. Yeah. Hey, that works too. I'll just show you what I meant by doing it landscape for the original. My, my The original one I created this way. So the dragonflies go this way. But you know what? I kind of like them both. That kind of works for me. <laughs> what do you guys think? Okay, so next up, we're just gonna attach these two little dragonflies to the other two cards. Same thing, just gonna poke out the little snail. And with these guys, I like to pop up their wings a little bit, so I just kind of curl them up just a hair so it looks like he's flying right on the, on the page there. Whoops! And he flew right across the table. Oh my gosh, that's funny. So I, because I was curling up the wings, I only put the snail on the back of his body, or I focused on the back of his body and not on his wings. And I'm going to do the same thing with the big dragonfly here. Okay, you guys, I bet you did not expect this to go that quickly. <laughs> so here are our cards. Here's our card set here. That's three cards that we just did in what, less than 10 minutes. <laughs> so fun, so easy, right? Which one is your favorite? Do you like the multiple dragonflies or the big guy, the little guy? I think they're all awesome. So if you guys have about maybe two more minutes to leave a comment here, um, and I'm going to draw the winner. So let's get ready for that. Um, while you guys are, are leaving your, your final comment on there, um, something I wanted to tell you about these paper pumpkins that I'm giving away. If you have not subscribed to the paper pumpkin yet, if you're not, a, a, these are monthly kits that come out and I talked about this a little bit yesterday. Stampin' Up! is running a special right now until June 10th um, where you get 25% off your first three months if you're a new subscriber. So there's a little code to use here. This detail is on my, my stampwithtammy.com blog. You can grab it there. You can sign up for the, the monthly subscriptions. It is a fun craft kit in a box. Woohoo! All right, guys, so let's give some stuff away. I'm going to start with um, the two March kits, the two, um, the two March paper pumpkin kits. There's two of these, so I'll draw two winners for this one. And <laughs> I just threw my light on the floor. No big deal. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Remember how I said it, it just looks like things are going okay? Behind the scenes, oh, my God. Yeah, it's all good and fun. Okay, so winner of uh, the first March Paper Pumpkin kit is... Hopefully I got the right one here. Drum roll. Do, 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 do. It is Bonnie Anderson. Congratulations, Bonnie. Okay, the winner of the next uh, March Paper Pumpkin kit is... Floyd Morgan. So congratulations to both Bonnie and Floyd for winning the March Paper Pumpkin Kit and tote bags and tote bags. Be sure to fill out the prize claim form. There is a link above in this video description. You can get it there. The next winner will be, uh, let's see, we got, the next winner will be for the February uh, Many Happy Birthdays uh, Paper Pumpkin Kit and tote bag. And that winner is... Vicky Tally, congratulations, Vicky. And last but not least is the April A Sarah Thing Paper Pumpkin Kit, most coveted kit ever, sold out. You can't even get it anywhere, but you can win it here. I'm giving them away on my lives all month long. Um, and the winner of that is Vicky Marie McGann Brooks. <laughs> 
Congratulations, Vicky, and congratulations everyone who won. Don't feel bad. If you were not a winner, you still have a chance to win the Afterlife, which is a Sarah Thing paper pumpkin kit and the tote bag. And I will draw the winner for that on May 31st. You know what? I wanted to show you guys one more um, quick card here. If you didn't see this yesterday, this is another card, and I have the technique instructions on my stampwithtammy.com blog. I posted this yesterday using the same exact stamp sets that we just used. The gorgeous grunge on the background and the wetlands for the, the little sandpipers and the words. So uh, just click on the, in, the, the link in this video description and you'll be able to find this, the information on how to make this card as well for using the same stamp sets. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining me today. I will be back on Saturday um, with a regular how-to video. And um, we will look forward to seeing you guys on the Stampin' Scoop show next Tuesday. Thanks for joining me today.